So, uh, you're welcome to our today's tutorial. In our edition of our tutorial today, we'll be learning how to change a flat surface, a flat object into a 3D object using our corridor. Like I told you, the corridor is a fantastic software to make use of. It, it, it's an amazing app that you can make use of to create amazing things. So, um, Let's go into it. Let's just go into it. So uh, we are going to create this. Uh, we give it our background like this. Then we go to here. Under here. We look for basic. There are many um, shape here. But we go to the basic shape. Then we come here. We look for love shape. Which is this. Then we drag. In our, what they call our control key. To draw it, so we bring it back to the center. Then you equally press P to send anything to the center. You press P wherever the thing is. This doesn't this thing is here. You can just press P to take it to the center of the uh, page. So here we, we go. We give this color red. We give it a line outline here. Yeah. 1.0. And let's make it also red. So now after we've been able to do this, these two. We we'll come to effect. We we'll look on a shoot. So from this a shoot, we will change this place to big back. We we'll make sure this one is on VP lock to object. Then we we'll change the depth to 4.04. 4. Then we we'll change the height to 2.544. Then we we'll change this to 0 minus 0 0.891. Eight nine one. So then you click on apply. So you have something like this. Now after you've been able to do this, still on this same object, you come back to your effect. You click on bevel. So when you click on bevel, you click out. Then you click back on the view. So you you make sure this is on center, distance, the color is red red. Then the intensity on sixty five. The direction one twenty one. Altitude twenty nine. Then you click apply. So once you click apply, you can see we've been able to turn our flat object into an amazing 3D. You can change the direction of how you want to look at it. See, you can increase it, change it from here on another one. You can see. So whatever thing you want to achieve, click on it. Then you can change how bright how bright it is from here. How bright it is, you can change from here. Then you can you can see it's becoming more brighter as you click here. Apply. Then you can change intensity from here also. Apply. What I would love if you can leave it here 65 and then we we'll leave this space 1 to 1, then we we'll leave this space on 29, then we we'll apply it. So we we'll have something like this. Then, after we're able to do this, we we'll come to our air clip, we just drag our air clip down, we we'll give it color black, then we we'll remove the airline, we we'll convert it to a bitmap, convert to bitmap. We click OK, then we go back to the deep bitmap and go under block, Gaussian block, and we are almost there. So we click OK and we bring it to the side. So we are almost there. So we've been able to replicate what we have here, been able to replicate it here. So that is how to do about it. Anything you want to convert into 3D or flat surface, just go through this process. You have your uh, your extrude tool, and then you make yourself your uh, what's it called bevel tool. And those you can find under your effect. Yeah, you see this, this two, you make use of them. Um, till I come away next time, I remember my humble self, Jayism Art. And please remember the great men of this world, they keep the land. They grow every day, they apply new things, they didn't stop even when they failed. So you also, even when you try something and you're not getting it right, keep on trying. Read more on about the stuff. As in dig deep, I believe we meet at the top. Stay positive throughout the rest of this month. I wish you all the best. Love you. Take care. I mean, almost every month. Bye.